Okay, I've showcased to you guys how to utilize the various launchers on your Steam Deck, but you know, there are some issues with having to go out of, you know, game mode to go to another launcher to then launch your game just so you can play it. And while there are other options you can use like Lutris, a lot of people want something a little simpler. And today I'm going to show you how you can install and set up an application for your Steam Deck known as Boiler, which basically allows you to add all your non Steam games from other launchers, as well as your third party applications, you know, other games kind of like AM2R, you know, another Metroid 2 remake and such to your Steam Deck's Steam library. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a lifesaver. So let's go ahead and get into the video of how to do that in the next couple steps in this next Steam Deck tutorial video. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it. You can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I, I top my division. I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not alike. Before we dive into this video, just a general reminder to sub to the channel and ding the notification bell that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest tutorials reviews and such that i put out on this channel if you want to support what we do we do have channel memberships as well as patreon and we also have merch on teespring and tpublic but with that being said let's go ahead and get on over to setting up boiler for your steam deck okay so we're on my home screen for the steam deck and now we're going to go over to switch to the desktop mode. And now that we are on the desktop mode, we're going to open up discover. And then we're going to type in boiler B O I L R uh, search it. And it's right there. So we're going to go ahead and click and install it. And then just let it do its thing. And then once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and launch it. And then we're going to go over to settings. So to go further, we're going to need an API key. So basically we're going to be using steam grid DB, which is going to allow it to pull in more artwork for the games that we're going to be utilizing. So we're going to click here and it's going to open up the browser and it's going to say we must be logged into steam in order to utilize this. So we're going to go ahead and click log in via steam. And then we're going to go ahead and sign in. And then we're going to enter our steam code and it says, please pick a username to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my steam name. And now that we're here, you're just going to go to the top right corner to your username, and then you're going to go to preferences and from preferences, you're going to click on API. Now you're going to go and create API key and you're going to get this key. Make sure you don't share this with anyone. And then you're going to go back over to boiler. You're going to paste it in. And then you're going to click only download images from boiler shortcuts. Now this is going to be pulling games from all your various launches that you have installed. And uh, a couple of ones you're going to want to uncheck just because you're probably not going to be using them is uh, legendary and rare. And because we're using the heroic games launcher, we're going to go ahead and uncheck that as well. Okay. And now that we've got that squared away, we're going to go over to images. And if you, depending on how many games you have, it's going to be pulling a lot of the images over. So it's going to showcase a lot of your, you know, games that you've installed, emulated or not. And I uh, just give it a minute and they'll start auto populating. Okay. And now you're seeing the games that uh, I have on my steam deck. You might see some duplicates, uh, which you can get rid of if you want to, but, uh, yeah. All your games are going to be in here. And if you want to change artwork, you can. And then what you can do, if you want to change anything, so 
if you want to change your art, you know, your header, logo, icon, and the like, you can. If not, if you're satisfied with everything, just uh, go ahead and click import. And then once it's done, you're good to go. You can go ahead and close this out and then you can go right on back to return to game mode and be ready to go. And now you can go over to your library and then you can check out your stuff. So you might have some duplicates in here. So all you're going to need to do is just remove the shortcuts. But for the most part, uh, any artwork that's missing will now be added and you should be good to go. And like right here, as you can see, this is uh, from Epic Game Store. This is Damon X Machina. So I can literally just launch it straight. Now, of course, you're gonna want to select a compatibility. Just in case you have any issues, I'm gonna start with GE Proton uh, 719. If that doesn't work, we'll just, you know, cycle through it. But for the most part, you should be able to just dive right on into your games. And as you can see, We've got Damon X Machina. It is booting up. Didn't have to go through any other type of uh, deal. I literally was just able to install it and go from there. And then all my controls work just like that. And that's it. That's how you use Boiler. That way you can go ahead and put your games from other launchers onto your Steam Deck's Steam library. That way you don't have to go through the launcher and, uh, you know, that whole process. Now, not every game works perfectly, you know, 100% with it, but for the most part, a lot of the games do run very well. So, uh, yeah, that's the guide on how to do it. If you have any questions, I'll leave a link so you can go to the site and uh, check out any type of uh, tutorials. And also make sure you check out the Steam Deck uh, Reddit thread because a lot of information is there. And uh, other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and ding the notification bell, that way you stay up to date on all the latest Steam Deck tutorials, tech reviews, game reviews, podcasts, live streams, and so much more. All that being said, I'm Mikhail Castanova signing out. If you want to support the content we do further, we do got Patreon, we got channel memberships. We also have merch on Teespring and Tee Public. Every little bit helps. So I'll be signing out at this point, and I hope you have a blessed and aloha rest of your day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. And if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well well as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around